You time it just right, you can hit him and stop the charge. I'll just, we'll just do it this way. Anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. All right, so where's the next place we got to go on the map? Down there. Okay. So basically, we just go this way. Take the big elevator? That is absolutely 100% the plan. Uh, is it this elevator? It is totally this elevator. Down we go. All right, onwards. There we go. I suppose. We're gonna have to go up. Do one of those. Send that up. Still managed to get hit. It's fine. Caw. Caw what? Caw? Caw? Oh, this is like. We got crow stuff going on here? I'm confused. I mean, to be fair, I live in like a perpetual state of confusion, so it's not really that surprising. I'm confused, but even still. All right, there we go. Have you killed the golden the golden noble bug? Uh, I don't believe I have. No. We'll see how we're doing after we get all the little grim boys. We'll see how we're doing on money at that point. How many rounds of uh, grim hunting bits are there? Three? Is it like this one plus another one plus another one? All right, let's see here. Three total. Okay, that's kind of what I was thinking. It felt like a three thing. <laughs> this one's going to be a pain. Oh, I messed it up. It's fine. I messed it up again. I mean, the good news is... They give us actual enemies. But yeah, this one's going to be a pain. I fell. Well. You. You very rude. I missed. I missed with the nail swing because he tried to like pair. He tried to like jump off the wall. There we go. Got him. I, I think that was all three. And now we can go back to Grim. 
What console? PC. I'm playing on PC. Playing on PC with an Xbox controller. Alright, there we go. And I'm assuming that we won't have to actually fight Grim until after the dude is fully upgraded. Is that correct, chat? First fight with him is in between rounds two and three. Nightmare Groom is after three. So we're about to fight him right now. Okay. Gotcha. How's it going, Milo? Carries well the ritual's promise. Dance with me, my friend. The crown awaits. Show them you are worthy of a starring role. Troopmaster Grimm. Okay. Okay. It's a lot of projectile nonsense. Ooh, all right. So he does an attack and then he follows up with a second. All right. He does spikes, does the, the floor is lava. Okay. That's a new attack. Like, we're not going to win this fight, just so you know. But the first, like, three fights are all just learning patterns and figuring out his attacks. So that's fine. Uh, okay, so we can get rid of some things like those. Uh, what's actually useful here? A quick slash would be useful. Um, I don't know if we've, if we've got time to heal, but we'll keep this just in case. So maybe we'll go Sprint Master and Grub Song. He seems very beatable. What's that floating behind you? It's a, a little grim boy. He's like a little grim friend. I think the smart thing to do, though, is to fully restore our soul before we fight him. And heal during the spikes if you're in the clear early. Okay. So that's our healing window. And then I'm assuming he'll probably have some phase where he's like stunned for a little bit. Yeah, quick focus is very useful. Okay. That's a really annoying attack. Gotta say. I was not in the clear. I thought maybe I was in the clear. Okay. Problem is, a lot of his telegraphs look very similar. I uh, okay. Oof. Yeah, that one's rough. This is the worst one. This is the worst out of all the attacks. Nope. Nope. All right. Ah. You think he's going one way, but he's going a different. That's all right. What type of game is this? This is a Metroidvania. It's a Metroidvania game.
When he does the three birds there, you can just jump and dash to hit it. That's literally what I did. I literally did jump and dash with the, the bird. It's a timing thing. All right, Grim. Okay. This is the one that I got to figure out like There we go That as well that one's also real annoying Okay, so he does not always yeah, he, we've learned he can change directions on that Yeah, that All right, if he starts on the ground I'm not gonna reach him. Yeah. Close. Yep. Okay. There we go. Little damage. Oh, uh, why would you stand there? Okay. Try. Ah, that's my own fault. Okay, shouldn't have gone for a heal there. This one is the worst of all the attacks. Heal. I uh, shouldn't have gone for two, but that's fine. Oops, self. You've learned the patterns, and yet you're still getting hit. Why? Why is this? Okay. Don't stand there. Or there. That's right. He does. He'll come back at you. Avoid. I was gonna say, can we keep going, right? That was too easy. See, the thing is, Grim, I understand your fight now. Now I know your moves, which means you're in trouble. Doesn't mean I'm not ever gonna get hit again. But it means your odds of striking me are significantly reduced. Except on this attack, which is just a load of nonsense. Okay, that was not a good place to stand. Don't do that. Heal. Okay. Don't stand there. Heal. Or there. We're good. Good again. Should have. Yeah. Okay. Whew, that was close. I should have been hit there, and I was not. This nonsense, though. Yeah. Yeah. That attack hits me like three times. Ah. 
よえ、ヒオゲンどうしてガチャお、ジャスティンケースのシェナガン。Easy. That's the easy one? Well, I figured as much. Because the question is, how much harder is the other fight? Hey, we got a charm notch for that. That's very good. So, is that thing your baby? Uh, yes, it's my baby Metroid. No, it's a, um, it's a baby Grim thing? I don't know what it is exactly, but basically, it, I, it has to follow me around so I can do stuff. Grim Child. The, the icon, I think, has changed a little. Almost equal to Radiance, but way cooler. I've heard that Nightmare King Grim is, like, infinitely harder than Radiance. That's what I have heard. I don't know if it's true. I, I, I haven't fought Nightmare King Grim, and I haven't beaten Radiance yet. Although we haven't attempted it at all today since fully upgrading a bunch of stuff. So I think we get rid of Grub Song. And I will take. You. And you. Cool. What do we got? One there in the hive, one here, and one here. Can you imagine if you had never, like, if you hadn't found the hive yet? And you're like, wait, what? There's a whole area here, and you discovered the hive as a result of this DLC? <laughs> Stuck in the third pantheon? I haven't done any of the pantheons yet either. All right, well, anyway. Uh, looks like we're going to Queen Station. I mean, I do love the fights that are a dance. I'm not gonna lie. Like, there's a reason. There's a reason that Hornet is my favorite fight so far out of the entire game. Although that ki the 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 base Grim fight was pretty good. What it didn't have going for it though that Hornet did was absolutely amazing. The Grim fight music is okay, but like Hornet's music, it 
there's nothing better. It's the best. It's the best track in the whole like soundtrack. Hornets fight music is just like ten out of ten. This is the way. Like, the Grim Fights, I don't think they have bad music, but like, compared to Hornet? Nah. Not even close. hits and he's toasted look at that these guys on the other hand at least I can kill him Let's see. So where are we at? We got to go back the other way. I haven't encountered Pure Vessel yet. I've everyone has told me though that Nightmare King Grim is like the hardest fart in the fight, uh, the hardest fight in the game, like by far. Like that's what every, all the reading that I've everything I've seen on like Reddit and YouTube and like everything has been like Nightmare King Grim is the hardest boss. He's such a jerk and I hate him and I was stuck on him for like three days. Disagree with that? Up to Godmaster. What are the what are the new and improved little gremlins look like? Let's find out. <laughs> Seems like it's basically the same as previous gremlins. The attacks are just a little faster, and he's a little bit bigger. Oh, that's a new one. Okay. 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 Wait, does he hit for two? Yeah, uh, well, maybe not. I, st I still can't tell if he actually hits for two or not. He might. You, he definitely hits for two. Okay. Gotcha. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> okay. Well, it's, it's all right. It's fine. Uh, what we should probably do is go to the Mantis Village. And, well, actually, I don't know that that bench is that much closer. Probably a little bit closer, but... This is not the way I want to go. I want to go up.
All right, and we're going down. Yeah. Because, like, really the only attack that I've seen from the little gremlin that's actually, like, scary is the beam one. I'm guessing you probably have to dash through it is the best way to avoid it. Which means I'm also assuming that Nightmare King Grim is going to have some sort of a nonsense beam attack. Because it seems like the game always kind of preps you for the bosses by giving you, like, air quotes, basic enemies that are kind of the same, but also different. We don't need to go that way, do we? <coughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah, this is the right place. All right, where's our shadow? Okay. Thank you, little Grimly boy. Seriously, though, where's my shadow? Yeah. That's annoying. Yeah, so keep moving is is right. That's the attack that you can hit him on, but Okay. Probably gonna die again. Oh no! Dude, that basic enemy just saved me. Why would your ghost head cracked earlier? Whenever you die, your soul gets shattered, essentially. And you basically... Did I just, uh trap myself <laughs> uh, basically your soul gets shattered whenever you die uh, and you have to go collect it and until you do your mask is like uh, cracked and you can only hold up to a third of your normal amount of soul kind of dark souls ask you also lose all your money sorry Mantises, I appreciate all of you, and yet I need soul so that I can heal. Thankfully, they will not be mad that I'm just like literally murdering them all. That was real dumb. Uh, you know what we could do, though? There's actually a bench, like, right here. And this is probably closer. And certainly safer. 
than the rest. Um, yeah. Let's just rest here. Seems like a good idea.